I'm Bambi Francisco with this segment of Lessons for Entrepreneurs, and I'm speaking with Pete Cashmore. He's the founder and blogger of Mashable at 22 years old. You've got yes, lots there, of huh? experience being an entrepreneur in your teens. But sure. now it's Mashable, sure. presiding um, over a big blogging empire. So, Pete, I'm sure a lot of people would want to know um, if um, would want some advice from you, um, advice about being an entrepreneur. So can you share three? You know, entrepreneurs are people who don't listen to advice. I think that will kind of be the definition. So, um, you know, my advice is don't take any advice. Just uh, learn your own lessons, make your own mistakes. Um, and it's really kind of the mistakes that are going to uh, kind of teach you your way. I mean, everyone's different. Everyone kind of is productive in a different way. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, when you look around, you kind of see, okay, some people get ahead by doing it this way, and some people get ahead by uh, doing it another way. I do think being nice is really, really helpful. Um, even though in the short term you can kind of get an advantage by, uh, you know, disrespecting people, I think kind of long term, you really set yourself up better if you just kind of uh, open, approachable, communicative, uh, especially on the web where there's a lot of gossip. Mm -hmm. um, you know, if you just make yourself available. But I don't know. I mean, I think you know. I think entrepreneurs are just kind of. You can get these little sound bites of advice, and hey, you can listen to them. And I know people read all these entrepreneurial books and like, hey, what does Richard Branson say? But I mean, that's Richard Branson. You're not. You know, you're not him. You've got to do. Uh, you know what kind of. Right. Do what you love. That's obviously the one that everyone drops Follow in. Follow your there. own path. Um, but certainly, if you try and be like someone else, it's not going to be uh, kind of uh, sustainable in the long term. So I guess you don't have any role models. No. Is that is that kind of egocentric? I guess maybe it is. But uh, no, I mean, good. you know, the thing is, you don't I have respect. to. A, that's a different way of putting it. Yeah. There's a lot of people I respect, and I think, yeah, they've done a really good job for them. Right. And I kind of, but I only compare my own stuff to me. I don't go. Oh, I want to be. You know, better than this guy or something, because that's just sure. a, kind of a rat race that you get into, and then you're always like, oh, now I've got to be better than this guy. Okay, yeah. I've got you know, 100 million, now I want a billion, and it just keeps, yeah. you know, and you're never going to be happy with that much money or that much success. You're always going to be looking to the next guy and saying, I want to be better than him kind of thing. So um, There's been a lot of entrepreneurs who talk about failures. Um, and setbacks, and, yeah, and quite frankly, any. that well, yeah. yeah, I mean, you're just starting off, and well, of course, you just listen to no, yourself. Of course, they you don't up have setbacks, bunch. no. But of course uh, they but they're, up they're up very honest bunch. about it because it really does. I mean, after your your failures, and certainly well, in 2001, there have been tons. And I wrote a whole series about companies, and um, it was titled "Where Are They Now?" And all of these mm. entrepreneurs talked about what they learned. It was a it was a, it was a great lesson um, to be sure. a part of that bubble, and they were better entrepreneurs for it. So that's I'm I, just asking. I think I've probably done about 50. percent 55%, 60% correct, which is just enough to kind of survive. You know, I made a okay. bunch of, uh, you know, I didn't make wrong decisions, but a lot of the time I was just kind of, uh, uh, it's, the, it's the opportunities I missed out that are kind of the things that kind of grate on me rather than, uh, you okay. know, stuff I did wrong, uh, right. if that makes sense. So it's yeah. kind of like, oh, we should have taken that opportunity or, you know, if I just kind of got some employees on earlier on, I could have had time to do that. There were a few kind of partnerships that maybe we could have chosen better candidates and it would have gone off in a direction yeah. that was yeah. kind of different. Most um, people regret things that they didn't do as opposed to things that they sure, could do. Sure, sure. I mean, so. basically, if you take the chance and you fail, you don't really feel bad about it. You just say, yeah. you know, I took the chance. But, you know, if you don't take that chance, um, huh. you do end up kind of regretting it. So I think maybe my mistake is just, uh, at, at least in the early stages, not taking enough chances. And now you are. You're getting bold with I Mashable. I should hope so. Well, I mean, so. I, I kind of overstepped the line a few times on a few things, and but that's just kind of being young and kind of trying things out. And I think I'm kind of getting a bit more responsible. I would hope so. Okay. Well, we wish you the best of luck, mm -hmm. and thank you for sharing. Thank you. Okay. I'm speaking with Pete Cashmore of Mashable. I'm Bambi Francisco.